Hello and welcome back to another episode of James Games. I am your titular host, I am James. And I'm back again with another episode and I'm returning with a bit of Cluedo because it's been a while since I've played Cluedo and you know what, with it also being award season I thought let's go for something a bit fun shall we, let's have a bit of fun. Right, so what we're going to imagine is, is that we are going into a Hollywood studio because that is actually one of the extra little things that you can get on this as I showed in the first one. So yes, we're going into a Hollywood studio and we are going to be investigating a death, right? And it's a big celebrity and I am going to pick one off the top of my head. Screw it, let's go with, I don't know, Will Smith. Right, so we can imagine that all of these characters here, Scarlet, Mustard, Green, Plum, uh, Peacock and Orchid, are all famous people involved in the project one way or another. So what we're going to imagine is, is that Orchid, I think can be Michelle Yeo. Yeah, Michelle Yeo, we're, we good with that? Awesome. Peacock, I'm gonna say is Charlize Theron. So why not? Plum will be one of Will Smith's oldest friends and former co-stars, Alfonso Ribeiro. Yes, Colton Banks. Green is going to be, sorry about this, but I'm just gonna do it, Jeff Goldblum. Uh, Mustard, who can Mustard be? Mustard, I think, can be Kevin Klein. He's co-star from Wild Wild West, and Scarlet, screw it, let's just throw a, you know, a bit of a random one in there, Jada, Jada is involved in this because obviously if something like this happens, you've got to make, like normally in any case like this, family <coughs> is always a suspect. Anyway, so I've got Jada, Klein, Goldblum, Ribeiro, Charlize Theron, and Michelle Yeo. So, we are gonna go out and we are going to solve the mystery of who killed Will Smith in his upcoming movie. Right, let's play the game. Okay, here it is. We're at the Hollywood studio. We're going to investigate and we're gonna try and solve who killed Will Smith the, during the filming of his upcoming movie. Now, I don't know what movie it's going to be called. Um, Let's call it The Legend of Bag of Vance 2. Why not? Right? Okay, so apparently, I already know that the cinema, the dressing room, and Michelle Yeoh are all off. Right? And here we go. Right, okay. So, if I'm not mistaken, Charlize Theron was Peacock. And what is she going for? Ooh, she's accusing Jada already with a gun in the editing room. Something's already come up. Interesting, interesting, okay. So, just gonna have to excuse me a second, I just need to uh, re familiarize myself and everything like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go bang, bang, and then I'm gonna go bang, because at the moment it's still a huge possibility, you know? Right, okay. Aha! Me, I decided to be Alfonso Ribeiro. Yes, indeed. Right, okay, let's do this. Got seven. Right, so where am I gonna go? I can go to the Roman set, which would be very interesting, seeing as I said this is gonna be the Legend of Bagavans 2. Uh, the hall, basically anywhere. I think, you know what, let's, uh, let's go into things I know now. One of them, well, I've got two of the rooms. I've got cinema and dressing room, so I'm gonna go to the dressing room because I feel that is a likely place. Right, who are we gonna go for, Carlton? Right, you know what? I'm going to choose myself and I'm gonna say it was with Will Smith's Academy Award. Right, that's what I'm gonna say it was. Okay, the Academy Award is out. But there is still the possibility that it could have been me. Right, end my turn. Okay, Jada. 
What is Jada going to be doing? Where she's going? Oh, she's going straight into her office through her secret room. Okay, okay. So he's also accusing me with the wrench. Holy smokes. Nearly got something out of that. Could have very well have been me. Ooh, this is getting a bit, uh, bit, getting a bit tasty already. Right, okay. Jeff Goldblum has arrived on the scene. Where are you going to, Jeff? Jeff is going to be returning to the Wild Wild West set. Also going for me with the wrench. Goodness gracious. Right, so they have that. The Western set is out because... Uh, I already know that, you know, it's not any of those, so, right, okay, who's next? Kevin Klein has returned, and he's here to take some memento pictures of his dead former co-star from Wild Wild West. <gasps> Going for something similar to me, said it was Jada with the gun in the dressing room. Still a possibility. Right. Okay. Here we go. Right. Michelle Yeo, what are you going to be saying? Where are you going to? She's going into the editing room. Right. Was she unhappy with how the film was progressing? Was Will getting a bit power hungry? Right. Ooh, interesting. Okay. They seem to be definitely starting to pick on Jada a bit more. But yes, still the possibility now, you know, Jada did it in the editing room, got into a bit of an argument with Will. Maybe Will was get unhappy with how the film was looking. Maybe one of them got a bit power hungry and then killed Will. Who knows? Until then, Charlize, where are we going with this? Okay, where are we? In the director's office. Right. They certainly are definitely going in on um, Jada, but also, as you can see along my row on the suspects, could still be me. Right. Alfonso, we need to... We need to start getting some traction here. We need to start finding some information. Right, we got the pick of most places besides the dressing room. You know what, we're gonna go into the cinema. We know the cinema is not it, but we're gonna go over anyway. We know Will wasn't killed with his Academy Award. And I'm gonna play it by picking again myself and this time it's gonna be with I'm gonna say it was with I'm gonna say Dagger. Right, here we go. Okay the dagger is out. Dagger is out. I haven't really got much further with it with my investigation. Okay, Jada, everybody seems to be accusing you. Why is that? And she's accusing herself. Okay, so we know that on this particular one, it wasn't the wrench, but it could still be the sci-fi set. Right, Jeff Goldblum is up. We love you, Jeff. I'm sorry I had to make you look like a uh, power-hungry um, producer. You know, it's just one of those things. Right, so he's accused Alfonso with the wrench. The wrench is out. Not much further. Because I've already question-marked myself 
the wrench and the director's office. That seems to be an interesting one. I might have to take a gander when it gets round to my turn. Right, Kevin Klein. Kevin Klein, he is going to the cinema. I have that cinema, so who is he going for? Going for Jada with the wrench. Okay, this has got very interesting. I have to reveal <coughs> the cinema. It's getting more interesting with the wrench in the director's office. The wrench, the director's office, and Plum, uh, sorry, Alfonso and Jada. Interesting. What are the motives for Alfonso to do this if he is the one who killed Will Smith? What are his motives? Maybe he feels that his entire career has literally been nothing more than a punchline. Right, okay, so. Gotta show this in the market. Maybe his motives for doing this was because he's literally just become a punchline his entire career. So, because of the Carlton dance, you know? So. When he found out he got cast for The Legend of Bag of Ants 2, then he thought to himself, like, yeah, you know, this is my time to get my own back. The Velvet Rope and the sci-fi set. They seem to be investigating the sci-fi set, so I'm going to say that is the set of Independence Day 3, you know, where they actually do battle on the moon. Right, so we got six. So which one is looking the most likely? Okay, I'm actually going to take this stab. Alfonso is going to go into the director's office. And you know what? We're going to follow the trend. We're going to go with... My, we're going to say it was myself with the wrench. The wrench is a popular one in the director's office. And go. Okay, we know it's the wrench. It was not me! Ooh, okay. But we do know it was the wrench now. <laughs> okay. So, what's the wrench? Right, okay. Moving on. But the director's office and Scarlet. I've got my eyes on those. Right, so they're going back into the cinema. Uh, Scarlett is saying it was Michelle Yeoh in the vel with the velvet rope. So what would Michelle Yeo's motive be? What would her motive be? Definitely Scarlett is looking very, very interesting right now. So, okay, hold on. So we know it's not Orchid, because I have Orchid, and I have the cinema. So the velvet rope as a weapon is out, even though I already know it's the wrench. So now we're going to continue. Everyone seems to be gathering in the cinema, but, but, okay, anyway. So, Green, Jeff Goldblum, what you're saying, <gasps> editing room. What would his motive be? Um, maybe he tried to keep Will cool for whatever reason, like maybe the film was going over budget and Will was just mass panicking and stuff like that and Jeff accidentally killed him maybe it was maybe with Jeff it was an accident maybe there's no motive maybe it was just death by accident you know right okay anyway so definitely knows the wrench I I'm still convinced it was Jada in the direct so so when it so hopefully it can get to my turn I'll be able to find out right Kevin Klein what's your motive your motive Kevin um, your motive is you're just pissed that he got he made you do Wild Wild West. Right, so I know it's the wrench, it's me, and I've got the dressing room, so perfectly fine. Yeah. But yeah, Michelle Yo. Maybe her motive is I'm just trying to think, what would Michelle Yo's motive be? <gasps> Okay, and they're still accusing me, but we know it's not me. I know it's the wrench. Okay. But yeah, before I carry on, what's Michelle Yeo's motive for killing Will Smith? They never really interacted before, and they never really 
worked on a movie together before. So maybe again, similar, maybe um, she's implicated purely because she was like part funding, like secret funding, I don't know, something like that, into the movie. Uh, Charlize Theron, maybe she's just angry because, um, you know, they did Hancock, maybe, I don't know. I mean, with Jada, it's a simple motive, basically, like, you know, fam family issues, stuff like that. Right, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna show a more kid. But yeah, Jada, you know, they, those two have been going through problems for quite a long time, so I'm just gonna say, basically, it turned into a domestic. Right, okay, so, it's me, it's my turn. I managed to get a knife. And I'm going to go through the secret uh, passage from the editing room to the director's office. Because I am convinced and this case could be blown wide open if I don't get this right. At least one of these right. So I'm definitely going to say it was Jada with the wrench, as we know, in the director's office. And... Okay. Oh, Jada's out! Ooh interesting so ooh, but we're still not sure in the director's office yeah Jada's out so she is no longer a suspect so it's between Jeff Goldblum with his accidental death Kevin Klein being pissed that they worked on Wild Wild West okay so I've got Orchid we know the sci-fi set is officially out it couldn't have been uh, yeah, so sci-fi set is out. But yeah, it's come down to accidental murder by Jeff Goldblum, uh, Kevin Klein being pissed about working on Wild Wild West 20 years later, and Charlize Theron's pissed because they worked on Hancock. <gasps> right, so you're not gonna get Scarlet. <gasps> it was in the director's office. Dun dun dun! Maybe they're trying to frame uh, Jada because it was in the director's office. So it's in the director's office with the wrench. This is getting this is getting wild. Right, so Kevin Klein, he has decided to go to uh, Gladiator Three set. And he's made a few implications but we know we know for example that so I, I just do this out of habit now really but yeah okay so we've got to find the suspect we have to find that suspect now right who's going next it is Michelle Yao she's already she is not a suspect her motive you know, probably just, as I mentioned before, you know, just something. I don't know, I, I forgot what I said. I don't know why they keep implicating Jada into this, but yeah. The thing is as well, right, okay, so we've got all of mustards actually, so we can pop crosses on these because we know Mustard doesn't have these three. Because, mu yeah, Mustard has the award, the velvet rope, and the western set. Right. Who's, who's going next? Charlize, one of the, still one of the suspects on need to further investigate. I just realised I missed one. Right, so you're saying it was me with the wrench. We both know it's the wrench. Uh, where am I? What am I doing? Okay. So, let's get rid of the hall. Like I said, I already know, but this is just, um, you know, for posterity reasons. Okay, right. It's my turn. No, it's the director's office. Where am I? I am in the hall so I can't go to the director's office but I 
can still go over to the cinema, which is what I've got. So we're going to go over to the cinema. Right. Who am I going to implicate? Goldblum, Klein, or Charlie's? You know what? Process of elimination. We're going to go with Green first, or Jeff Goldblum in this case, with the wrench in the cinema. Come on, baby. Ooh. Jeff Goldblum is out. So it's down to the angry former co-stars. <laughs> All right then, Kevin Klein and Charlize Theron. They are they are the last ones. Okay, so they accused Michelle Yeoh with a velvet rope. You know, we already know the hall, so. Okay, Jeff, where are you going to, son? He's going to the Gladiator 3 set. <gasps> Doing me a slight favour, you are. Ooh, okay. Still a question mark here. All right, Charlize. Alrighty then. I think she's gonna be my next one if it if it get round if it gets round to me. <coughs> Excuse me. Right. Kevin, who is still a suspect, has decided to go to the Independence Three uh, Independence Day Three set. Right. I had Orchid. Yeah, we already knew the sci-fi set, so I can't really do much else. That hasn't helped my investigation. Right, so Jada is saying someone with a pistol on the Western set. Right. Again, doesn't really help. So now I want to try and like figure out who's got what card. That's the thing. Everybody seems interested in the Western set. What did I say in that set is? I've got Gladiator 3, uh, Wild Wild... Uh, is this... Screw it, we're going to say this is the last. Okay, so... Oh my. We have figured it out, thanks to Kevin Klein. Right. Here we go. Right. The timing on that, it's my go. Okay, I need a big enough roll to be able to do this all in one go. Right. Get a good dang it. Right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the following. We're just gonna go to the editing room, because why not? We might as well get everything out there. And yeah, we're gonna say it was Charlie's with the wrench in the uh, editing room. Right, there we go. Editing room is shown. Continue. But I believe I have figured it out. So I am going to make my accusation. I believe it was Charlie Theron with the wrench. I'm going to say it was the grips wrench and it was done in the director's office in an attempt to frame Jada. Don't know why, but yes. So the motive, as I said before, she's just basically angry about Hancock. Maybe there were other things going on behind the scenes during the filming of Hancock. Maybe. What they are, haven't really fleshed that out yet. But we are going to accuse. There we go. The crime has been solved. It was indeed... Charlie's there on with the grips wrench in the director's office in an attempt to frame Jada. With the final motive of, like I said, they were working together on Hancock and she is angry about incidents that happened behind the scenes. 
Will, who at the time was making some kind of comeback because he had done the odd film here and there and this was supposed to be his big action spectacle comeback and he effectively became very difficult to work with and the thing is family issues were getting in the way and everything and Charlize maybe maybe Charlize there on you know was going to be that shoulder to cry on but she was pushed away pushed aside because Will wanted to stay loyal to Jada right at which point for nearly 20 years she held this grudge of basically not being seen as a friend and thus when she had the opportunity, she killed Will Smith. I know that's a bit of a handball motive, but hey, screw it, it's my story. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for joining me on this awards season, um, you know, variety of Cluedo. Yes, you know, playing Cluedo and, you know, using the death of Will Smith. God, I hope in the time from when I've, you know, recorded this up until this uh, gets released that Will Smith doesn't actually die or else I'm going to feel very bad. <laughs> Jesus Christ. But yes, thank you very much for joining me on this episode of James Games. Also, I've got to mention Happy New Year and Happy Awards season. You know, let's enjoy it. Let's hope there's no controversies this year. No nothing. Let's just enjoy it and may the best actresses, films, TV shows, whatever, win. May the best ones win. But yes, thank you for joining me on this uh, awards special Cluedo version. Uh, wait, Clu awards version Cluedo special. Yes, of <laughs> James Games. I'm really doing good on this outro. Thank you very much for joining me on this episode of James Games. Uh, if you liked the video, give it a like, share the video as well, because the more shares, the more views, the more views, the more that the channel continues to grow. Uh, subscribe to World Minus One Entertainment if this is your first time on the channel. Don't forget to check out all of the other content that is currently available. You never know, there might be something you like. Also, why not check out the Sherlock Holmes uh, video that I did around about two and a bit years ago by now. Um, yeah, check it out. It's good fun. And... Uh, you know, yeah, if you do subscribe, hit that notification bell so you're notified about any and all content that goes live onto the channel. Drop us a comment below. Did you like the little stories, the video as a whole? You know, if you did, drop us a comment down below. Let's have a chat. Who do you think is going to win in the awards? You know, Golden Globes are coming up. Oscars are around the corner. You know, let us know who you think is going to win. Thank you very much for joining me, and I will see you next time for some more fun and some more games. Take it easy, everyone.